Come on, Rick! Nothing says Saturday night like a new calculator. Oh, yeah. I, why did I get a new calculator? Why are we doing this unboxing? Well, here we've got the NeoCal ND36812B. I call her Old Faithful. You can see I've had this four or five years, never breaks, works beautifully, no need for a replacement, but it looks like it's got nicotine stains. I don't smoke, right? I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's just like, you know what? I love this calculator, but I'm okay to buy a new one and get some desk candy, something a little sexier, you might say. So what are we gonna unbox today? We're gonna unbox the Lowcock, designed by Lowcock. Mind out of the gutter. Let's get the unboxing music and get busy. Have you heard the news? Dave does reviews on his YouTube channel, so rack up the views from toys and tools and other stuff that's cool. Close ups to the couch, you know how we do. Come on, Rick, he can help you choose which one to pick, cause Dave does review. I said, come on, Rick, okay. he can help you choose. Sure, Ain't nothing to lose, cause Dave does review. As I start to look at this and put some things together, I'll give you a brief history of the calculator. 1642, the Pascaline, right here. First mechanical calculator invented by the philosopher Pascal in France. Next moment in calculator history, I would say, is in the 1940s, what you would call the electronic numerical integrator and computer, otherwise known as the ENIAC, was the first electronic calculator. That mamma jamma filled a whole room and weighed three tons. Next moment in calculator history of potential interest, Come on, come on, is the Pocketronic, the first handheld calculator developed by Texas Instruments in 1972, weighed two and a half pounds and cost 150 bucks. And last but not least, the Casio FX700G in 1985, the first graphing calculator. So. Well, I don't think I need the instructions. As you've probably noticed, I, I have fidgety hands, hence the collection of fidgets. There is no problem with opening and closing this. This is just my hands. Maybe I'm nervous today or maybe I'm jittery. So this bad boy takes a AAA battery and that I think is one of the first catches. Do you want the solar powered beast where you never have to worry? She's always ready to rumble. Or do you want something, in this case, we've got a nice sleek design, but the offshoot is it does take a battery. So that's something you're gonna wanna consider. The price on this guy was 500 Thai baht, 125 RMB, 15 US, 20 Canadian, not bad at all. Hence, why not upgrade the calculator? The reason I got this, and you saw the button fell off when I was opening, I think the idea with these is people then buy, you can get like special buttons and swap them. So for example, for the zero, you might add some ridiculous clunky thing with like a fireball sticking out and it's just kind of like a fun way to play with it. So these buttons come off and go on easy. I don't know too much about swapping buttons. What attracted to me this was the sleekness and my understanding was it was going to have a bit of a mechanical sound and I do like it. So initial thoughts, it feels not cheap. It feels a pinch light, like the calculator's got good weight, but it feels just the way the buttons are attached being easily swappable. It does give it a pinch of cheapness feeling. I would have liked a pinch more click when you're pushing these buttons. But again, it is a pretty cool, like a typewriter type feel. So if it's something you're into, you might kind of then get one like this and then upgrade to something else. Let's come for a zoom in and talk a little more. Get it on, Rick. So as you can see here, 166 grams approximately. So you're looking at about five and a half ounces. It's a nice size. 
I really bought this just because it looked cool. I liked the color scheme. I thought it would look nice on my desk. And I just wanted to get a sense of what did it feel like when you push these buttons. Not bad. It does have a bit of that sort of typewriter feel. Let me get it up next to the mic so you can kind of hear the click. What the clicking sounds like. And there's not a whole lot to do here. This is a short video, right? Happy Saturday to all. I think when you're looking at calculators, I'm guessing if you're looking at desk candy, if you're like me, I like less buttons because I just, I'd rather bigger buttons for the numbers. I tend to do for the work I do and when I'm doing stuff at home, taxes, calculating all my wasted money on shopping, bills, etc., or for business and work, I'm usually doing pretty basic stuff, mathematics, division, etc. And so I like to have big numbers and not a lot of distraction with other buttons. So this calculator fulfits, kind of fulfills that profile. For me, in an ideal world, I would have actually liked a little bit of a low, a lower rise. You can see this baby's got some depth. So I would have liked a pinch of a lower rise, a pinch wider, which would have gotten a bit bigger diameter on the buttons. But overall, I like this and 15 bucks. Come on, what are you going to lose? So we'll take it back to the face shot and I'll give you some conclusions. Kim on. Feel free to post questions in the comments. By the way, subscribe. I think the little red button is right down there. Subscribe, please. As I'm playing a bit more, it's only been a few minutes. While initially I sort of felt that it was a bit too light, the clicking noise, I think after using it quite a bit, too noisy might get annoying. So I'm starting to wonder if this was actually tactically done and I'm gonna have to give it some thought and get back to you. Feel free to ask and I can give updates in the comments as time progresses. One thing that I'm realizing that's really cool about being able to remove the buttons is that you can then take them off, wash them, rinse them if need be, and then you can also kind of use one of those air blowers to clean out the guts and bolts and inside. So I think there's a couple wins to this. I'm really sort of looking forward to... Brrr, what a sweet outro. Have a good weekend. Get it on.